OK, there's a fantastic play coming up called Mall of the Dead. It's coming up very soon in May here in Perth. We'd like to have all our Eastern States viewers see um, what we're up to here in Perth when it comes to theatre. But first, check out the skit and then Nisha's is talking to the people behind the play. Here it is. What are you lot looking at? Don't you like punk? Cheers. Oh, am I glad to get out of this gear? walking right by me while I stay frozen solid. Well, I know you from telly. Channel 4's Wendy with the weather. That's me, charmed. What's the forecast, Wendy? Partly dismal with a chance of apocalypse. Why don't you show a little respect, young lady? Why don't you get stuck, mate? Don't stand up for me, John. I can take care of myself. Well, I'm not taking any crap from some vague little punk freak. John! You're talking, John! I am a sky with you all seeing I It's chopper. I said, show some respect. Knock it off. Don't tell me to knock it off. You're a cop. What are you doing siding with her? You don't know anything about me, and we just took you in. So I'm telling you straight up, knock it off. And I'm telling you, I'm not going to take her crap. We've been flying nonstop since we left the station. We managed to land once for fuel, and barely got off the ground alive. Two of those things were hanging off my skids till they dropped 50 feet. Hit the ground so hard, the leg snapped right under them, and they just kept going, crawling across the road, slithering off. Man, I need a drink. All the boozers out there. That's it, it's for you. Enough. Wait, wait, wait. You mean there's chapel one on the roof? Yeah, we ran low on fuel. It seemed like a good place to land. What's it like out there? Well, the roads are jammed with mostly abandoned vehicles. 135's backed up all the way to the Grandview Triangle. And there's a snarl on no, six. No, 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 no. I mean, right outside here. Oh. Well, the mall looks closed up. Either that or those things are too damn dumb to open the doors. Parking lot's full of them. Wandering around, circling the place. Wonder why they do that. Because you're in here. And they want you. They want us all. It's more than that. It's like it's some kind of instinct. This place was important to them. They were happy here. Yeah. Bunch of wankers! <laughs> wow, just at the scary bit as well. Mall of the Dead by playwright Mitch Bryan. We're joined today by part of the crew as well as co-directors Jade Clark, get it right, and Sean Griffin. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome my scary friends behind me. I'm not going to look at you too often. I'm getting frightened already. <laughs> okay, so Mall of the Dead coming up shortly in May 10th, 11th, 16th, 17th and 18th. Must have been quite exciting to put this together. Tell us a bit about the play. What can we expect to see? Well, you expect to see a lot of zombies mm -hmm. um, and some creating some really great friendships and trying to move through that kind of um, survival instinct to try and get along together and to basically survive. Okay, so a lot about uh, relationships. I was about to say human relationships. Are zombies classed as humans? Mm. I'm not very versed in horror. I'm still divided on that one myself. Okay, sure. Okay. <laughs> So I guess in terms of an audience member coming to watch your show, what, what can they expect? Will they be scared or excited? A bit of both? A bit of both. I think when they, when they first get here, it'll be pretty calm and then there'll be a few shocking things here, there and everywhere and just to get them enticed. OK, and of course you're from Phoenix Theatre and you must do a number of different shows. What makes this show particularly enthralling to be involved in? Well, uh, one, it's uh, very different to what Phoenix has usually put on in the past. Mm -hmm. um, and it could uh, attract new, different uh, demographic of people. Wonderful. Now, has it been a, a little bit of a different experience for the crew as well, working and obviously um, getting the crew on board? It might be different roles for them as well to play. Perhaps if I... Do you guys talk as zombies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps if... Perhaps if um, obviously, I don't want to get you out of character, so maybe on their behalf, if you were able to let me know, what are some of, some of the feedback that you've got during the course of the uh, rehearsals before the show's come on board? It's that kind of... Um, we've done a lot of fight choreography, and we've had a lovely young man that comes down and he shows us a lot of bits and pieces to do and that kind of being really physical, which has been the best part about it, um, and also as well as the acting and kind of keeping that true to, to genre and as well. OK, so... And, and that's it. I guess the techniques that you're utilising as actors and actresses as well, um, 
are very different in horror. Mm. So there was a lot of development and opportunity in that space for everybody. Of course, mm. definitely. And of course, I roll that into if you are going to come and see the theatre show, then you are watching a group of individuals who have put a lot of effort into this genre. Yeah. What else would you like to say to the audience out there? Why should they come and see your show? I think uh, this one would be mainly because it's a zombie envelopment. Everyone loves a zombie. Whether you're a little kid or you're older, it's that, that kind of gruesome, bloody type um, atmosphere. Yeah, I'm scared just to... Yeah. <laughs> and it's just, you know, that, all that combination of all, all those things that make it kind of that you really encapsulate and really want to watch it, even though it's gross, you really want to see the grossness. Well, and, and that's why I go to the theatre to escape, isn't it, really, as exactly. well, and get enthralled. Well, look, we did see a short snippet from the show and I was enthralled in that, hence why when the camera came to me, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> so, look, I do encourage everyone out there to look on our website, thecouch.com.au, to find out more details about the upcoming show. And, look, thank you so much for joining us because there's a lot of effort that goes into what you do and we do really appreciate it. Best of luck with the show. Thank you. And back to you, Fred.